sorry if I'm whispering but my people are sleeping in the house and I'm trying not to disturb anyone so sorry guys <laughs> channel it's your girl susan here back with another amazing video so in today's video this is gonna be a get ready with me chit chat and also a life update just to update you guys about my life so far and how everything is going with work since most of you guys know that i started working on the first of september so i'm just gonna be updating you guys about how that's going and also i'm gonna be doing my makeup as i do that so the products that i'm gonna be using are glazy is it glazy eyeshadow palette yeah by uh who did this anyway i don't know it's just glazy eyeshadow palette and it's 99 colors 99 colors in one palette and this is how it looks like so let me just You see that you guys like wow look at that yeah so i'm gonna be playing around with these colors on my face and i'm also gonna be using the maybelline fit me foundation in the shade cappuccino you can see that yeah so i'm gonna be using this maybelline fit me foundation and yeah the rest is just my uh, setting powder also makeup brushes yeah i know not much eyebrow pencil mascara i'm just gonna be using lip gloss on my face yeah i'll get the lip gloss later and show you guys so let's get into this video okay so the first thing that i'm gonna be doing are my eyebrows and i'm just gonna get my um, pencil I use the brown shade because I feel like it's a little bit less harsh. I don't like using the black one because it just makes your eyebrows look like they are tinted on. Like, so yeah, I'm just gonna draw on. I'm just thinking and dry. Yeah, I'm just gonna draw on. It's been a while since I did makeup, you guys. I've been trying to clear my skin. As you can see, there's a little bit of a difference with my skin. And yeah, so far been going on so well so i'm really skeptical with what i put on my skin because i don't want to break it out again because it's so hard to clear my skin but yeah oh also i'm sorry if i'm whispering but my people are sleeping in the house and i'm trying not to disturb anyone so sorry guys but i'll increase the volume when i um when i start to edit this video so i'm sure you'll be able to hear me yeah otherwise yeah life so far <sighs> um first of all let me just say i'm so grateful to god for the opportunity to have a job and to be working as a doctor it's what i've always wanted and it's been such a blessing because I know not everyone got the chance to get a job, right? Like most people got left out of the selection process. So I really am grateful to God for this opportunity to work, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, you, as you guys so if you watched my okay so okay i think that's okay yeah yeah so i'm just going to line my eyebrows using the same foundation so i'm just gonna do a little bit and then i'll dab it on by the way this is the first time i'm doing a get ready with me because that other one that i did but this one is more of a sit down get ready with me so I'm not really a pro at it, so please bear with me, okay? And don't come at me. Yeah. 
and girl is still new to this stuff so I'm just gonna cross this up probably gonna use the same my face for my foundation so I'm just gonna use this to clean up my eyebrows give them a cool look so yeah what was I saying so yeah I'm just super grateful to have a job because not everybody got a chance to have a job and I'm just grateful that God provided me with one yeah So, as most of you guys know, I started working as a doctor. I reported for work on the 1st of September. Though, if you guys watched my video, my previous video, video where I showed my first day of work and first week of work, we didn't really start working on the exact first of September yeah we just uh, had some orientation on that day and then work began like the following week and so I'm not gonna lie it was hard it has been hard it's still hard but it's actually easier now yeah like you know that feeling when you start a job and you feel like you're not ready for it or you're not good enough or you feel like you f you, you don't know so much like you've forgotten a lot of stuff yeah that was exactly how i felt like the anxiety was just so much it was really a lot and do okay guys so my eyebrows are done i just had to do them off camera because yeah it was so hard to have tried but i'm not doing anything complicated just something simple so yeah now i'm gonna go on with my foundation i'm just gonna dab it on my face hi everybody this is monica i'm doing susan's makeup voiceover so let's begin susan will be using maybelline's foundation in the shade 340 aka cappuccino and the thing i found out about this foundation it's not so thick which i love especially if you have oily skin it doesn't clog your pores making you oily in a couple of minutes it's really light and it's silky but it has excellent coverage. So what I found about using this foundation in my own personal experience is that when you are someone who has oily skin like me, I prefer to start from the outside. So I think Susan's skin isn't that oily. It's kind of like medium. You know like combination skin it's not dry and it's not oily but mine is extremely oily so i start from the outside like i put a couple of uh spots like a dime sized amount on my cheeks my chin and my forehead and then i work that in towards the center like i never begin from my t-zone area because i found that i end up packing on too much at the center and then when i like the day goes throughout i start getting extremely oily and then my t-zone area is looking like someone put cooking oil on it all the rest of my face is looking matte so that's just something i found that works for me my baby sister asking if she puts too much foundation So she's working that in. She's dabbing it. I found that some people also, you know, instead of 
gently patting it like you know dabbing the foundation on the like rub like you're applying lotion like that is the worst thing you could ever do to your face because when you're done your foundation is going to have like streaks and marks like you know someone was was tugging at your skin or people's fingers were sliding through so don't do that just do what she's doing like gently dab it onto your skin until it fully absorbs and also guys please take care of your skin i've heard so many people say that oh no because we have dark skin we're african we don't need to wear sunscreen that that is such a big misconception just because the probability of us having skin cancer is low does not mean that probability does not exist so Susan is going to be doing the smoky eye, which is like one of my personal favorites. So the key here is to start from the outer corners of your eye and then work your way inwards. So now Susan is getting uh, the golden shade and then working that in. So the key with getting the right angle in your makeup or the kind of shape that you're going for your eye, always have the mirror facing straight at you. Don't have the mirror like push to the side and then you're looking oh no let me start from the corners of my eyes and I'll turn around no you're going to have like a misshapen eye so now she's blending uh, both the dark color and the golden one together because you don't want it to be too obvious that this is where the dark shade begins and this is where the golden one begins so right where she ended it that's where she's like trying to like blend them in so it looks more natural natural like a faded in look and then it fades darkly on the outside if you get what i'm saying see my sister be doubting her skills but she's doing okay Now she's working with the dark color again to make sure that it's not crossing over her her brow area into like her eyebrows because uh, that is not the look guys. Another tip when you're working with dark colors like something that's very pigmented like black never go in heavy-handed you always want to start light and then work your way to add because it's easier to add more when you have less than to start taking it off because once you start rubbing and getting the makeup removal and it starts smudging your foundation like that's the worst especially when you don't have time to waste Always make sure that when you're trying to blend in uh, your eyeshadow, if you're using like a couple of different shades, 
use a clean brush don't go and use the previous one that you used because you just end up adding some weird colors in she's going for the setting powder and she's using Podaya's loose powder in the shade number three you guys not to hype this powder but it gives you a natural look you don't end up looking embalmed when you use this powder you see what i was talking about like it's such a lovely shade it blends in so beautifully with your skin tone no matter what shade you are like i love this powder I start out with the with a certain powder it prevents my skin from getting oily quickly as opposed to just going in directly with the foundation because you know sometimes you buy like um, a primer but this primer is also on the market are fake you know and also have you guys seen that spot between her hairline and her forehead don't worry she's going to fix that because I was also worried in the beginning but everything turns out okay just look at how that powder is going in like you can't even see that uh this is powder it looks just like her skin she's going for the lip liner also just a little trick if you don't have a lip liner you can also use your eyebrow pencil and mascara because you know working with um with eyeshadow it can like make your lashes really messy so always have a mascara close by so that you can go in and fix anything that falls you know any fallout from the eyeshadow and lip gloss So this is the final makeup look and yeah I'm loving it I know I'm not a pro but I tried my best like at least it looks presentable and yeah you guys let me know what you think and if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys in my next video I love you guys thank you so much for watching and until then it's bye I don't know how we got here but what the Be going through the phases, baby